Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Everything that goes up must come down, right? Turns out gravity is not that simple. In fact, the entire universe is a mesh of complex phenomena. Watch till the end to find out what NASA discovered about the Earth's gravity, along with many other things. Testing the Jetpack This life jacket for astronauts is an innovation from a science fiction book known as a Man Maneuvering Unit, or MMU. It was designed to bring astronauts to the safety of the space station if they ever lose free from the station. To test this suit in 1984, astronaut Bruce McCandles volunteered to go for the first untethered spacewalk. On the 7th of February, 1984, Bruce performed his first untethered spacewalk, where he free floated 100 meters away from the space station in space 189 miles above the Earth as his colleagues kept a close eye on him. He floated in space for six hours before successfully returning to the station. Mars Landscape Curiosity is a car-sized Mars rover that was designed to explore Mars as part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission. Curiosity was launched in November of 2011 and landed inside Gale Crater on Mars in August of 2012. The rover has been able to send back a lot of stunning photos of the red planet. Look at how clean the atmosphere on Mars is. You can see distant craters just from this image. Imagine how Earth would have looked like if it was that clean. Astronaut Falling on Moon Stepping on the moon was probably one of the biggest achievements humanity ever achieved. When the astronauts first stepped on the moon, it was hard for them to adjust in zero gravity. In order to move, they had to get creative. They hopped, shuffled, and sometimes fell. James McBaron is the aerospace technologist who had worked on these suits. According to him, his biggest concern was that the astronauts will fall and will not be able to get up because the suit did not provide much mobility to them. They did fall, but they got up and made everyone proud. Astronaut Collapse Most of us considered being an astronaut as a very glamorous profession. Honestly, these men and women are some of the strongest people in the world. In 2006, astronaut Hede Marie Stephen Sheen Piper collapsed twice during her welcome home ceremony. A day after she returned to Earth after spending 12 days in space, the officials have addressed her falling and said that she was just adjusting to the gravity of the Earth. This video shows how unappreciated astronauts are. It takes a heart and guts of steel and a calm mind in order to survive in outer space. Space Jump Felix Baumgartner is an Australian daredevil and a base jumper. This daredevil took thrill-seeking to another level. In 2012, he jumped from the Earth's stratosphere using a hot air balloon. He free fall back towards the Earth at the speed of light. A special suit was required, which cost $200,000, and the special balloon cost $250,000, which was sponsored by a famous energy drink. Felix broke three records in one jump. Most of us would have passed out midair. Planet with a pyramid. A dwarf planet that lies in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter known as Charis has captured the imaginations of everybody. Earlier NASA's Dawn probe spotted sparkly bright spots on the surface of this dwarf planet after that, another spacecraft was sent to orbit the Keras, where it captured a structure that was rising three miles above the planet's cratered surface. The structure resembled a pyramid. It could just be a tall mountain. But imagine if that planet once held a life form similar to ours, and this pyramid was made by them, or the aliens from that planet came to the Earth, where they taught the humans how to build one. What are your thoughts on this one? Roar of the Jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is a gas giant filled with mysteries. To gather more information about this planet, NASA sent its space probe named Juno to orbit Jupiter in 2011. 
The space probe has been able to capture a lot of stunning images of the gas giant, but it captured something else as well, an eerie roar when it entered the planet's magnetic field. Use your headphones to listen. The explanation behind this noise is actually pretty simple. It is called the bow shock, which is caused by the spacecraft's entry into the planet's magnetic field that protects the planet from solar winds, or maybe the planet doesn't want any visitors. Space radishes. Is anyone feeling a little hungry? How about we get you some space salad? In 2020, NASA shared a time-lapse video showing the growth of radishes. These radishes were planted by NASA astronaut Kate Rubens, who carefully harvested the fresh radishes that will be delivered to the Earth sometime this year. The radishes were grown in the Advanced Plant Habitat, which was added to the International Space Station in 2018. It is the largest growth chamber on the orbiting laboratory. It is roughly the size of a mini fridge, and it is used to study which type of conditions do plants prefer in order to grow in lower gravitational areas. It will open up future opportunities to grow fresh vegetables and fruits on the International Space Station. Black Hole Black holes have always fascinated scientists and the common people alike. What lies in them? What lies behind them? What are they? What would happen if our solar system gets devoured by one? We have gotten a step closer to answering all these questions. The Event Horizon Telescope has been able to capture a supermassive black hole more than 50 million light years away, in the heart of a giant elliptical galaxy known as Messier 87. The image shows a very clear center of the black hole, surrounded by the ring of light and the blue light coming towards us. Before this, we knew black holes existed because of the supporting evidence. This image was obtained as the result of collaboration between 200 scientists from across all the world. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This is a graphical image from an unknown source. Although it looks like an alien is taking over the Earth, but it's something way more sinister than that. Let's talk about gravity, because face it, aliens are overrated. Imagine what would happen if the Earth lost gravity, or what if the gravity suddenly increased? In order to answer that, we must know what gravity is, and in which cases gravity would increase or decrease. Scientists have been working on uncovering the mystery behind Earth's gravity ever since Newton discovered it. In the 4th century BC, the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle defined why all heavenly bodies move downwards by relating them to the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. According to him, these elements have their natural places, and they tend to move back towards their natural places. Like if you toss a rock in the air, it will move back towards the earth, while the fire goes up to the heavens. In the early 2000s, the scientists at NASA found out something that wasn't previously known about the green planet's gravity. The Earth's gravity is different in different parts, and it changes from one month to another. It happens because of the hydraulic cycle, the continuous movement of the water between hydrosphere, atmosphere, and lithosphere. In simple words, the things with more mass have more gravitational pull as compared to the things with less mass. Since our Earth doesn't have an equal amount of mass across the planet, that's why places with more mass have more gravity. In recent years, one of the biggest contributing factors behind the change in gravity on the Earth has been highlighted, the melting glaciers, which is contributing to the rising sea levels. More water means more mass, and more mass means more gravity. If the gravity increases, the Earth will move closer to the sun. But let's be real, if the gravity increases, the Earth's core will collapse, and we won't be able to see the days where Earth could be closer to the sun, and the moon will collide with the Earth. Now, what if the gravity decreases? We will lose some weight, but then we won't be able to breathe properly because the air pressure will be reduced. The ecosystem under the oceans will be destroyed because there will be no tides. 
and the moon will lose its orbit around the Earth, and the Earth will move away from the sun, and we will freeze. We will lose all sorts of satellite connections. We might collide with another planet. So let's be thankful for what we currently have and take care of our precious planet. Much later, in 1666, Isaac Newton discovered gravity by watching an apple fall from the tree, a force that is present in everything that pulls other things towards itself. Yes, everything has gravity. The sun, the earth, the moon, and even you have gravity. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and if you aren't already, subscribe to our channel for more entertaining videos. See you next time!